Hi, Jeff Desart with Energy Smart Homes. Today we're going to be talking about penetrations. Uh, we're down in a crawl space today uh, in the Dilworth area of Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm talking about penetrations up through your floor. Uh, these penetrations are made for pipes to pass through the floor, for electrical wiring, uh, water lines, uh, even duct work. And what happens is they, they many times they'll cut a hole that's much larger than needed for the pipe to go through there. On this particular one I'm going to show you, this is underneath the bathtub and, and often because of the connections below the bathtub they'll cut a large hole and get in there and then they don't seal it allowing for air infiltration, pests, dust, pollen, whatever to pass between the crawl space and your house. Um, let me go ahead and show you this one. Large penetration here. And you can see, you know, that's the bottom of the bathtub right in there. Uh, and you'll see here, that's that's the hole that's cut in the floor right there. Uh, so very large penetration. Um, when you get a large one like this and you can't just spray foam uh, into the penetration to close it off, you need something, you need to put something in there first. Uh, typically we'll use a foam board, a rigid foam board, and put some adhesive on it and use that to close it off and then and then foam over that to seal it shut. Uh, but we don't have any foam board. Today we're going to chink it shut, what we call chinking. We're going to stick bat insulation, this, this same stuff you see right here, this foam bat, I mean this fiberglass bat. We'll stick it in there and then foam it shut. When we foam it shut, we'll seal it off for air sealing, moisture sealing, and actually insulate it. So, I'm going to get Dave here started on chinking this, this hole shut. When he's done, we'll come back and uh, watch him foam it. Uh, I'll show you some other penetrations while he's doing that. Um, you know, here you see, right over here you see a water line. Here is a water line passing through. You can't see it now because we've already sealed this with some foam, but very big hole, about that big was cut for a little pipe to go through, just allowing whatever, moisture, air, pest to pest. From the crawl space up into your home, here's some more, a, a drain line, another water pipe, and we've sealed these up. Uh, if you want to do these on your own and you're in your crawl space, just follow the pipes and see where they're going up into the floor. and. Pull the uh, bad insulation away so you can see the penetration and seal it off with, I'd use a low expansion foam, you know, you can buy the canned foam, the straw foam from any uh, hardware store. Uh, for the bigger holes, like I was explaining over there, either use a foam board or even just chinking some batter in there to kind of close the hole off so that you can then come back and foam over that and get a good airtight, moisture tight seal. Uh, I believe Dave is done taking this hole up, so come back over here, take a look. I'll take the camera here and show you what I was talking about. You can see there that, that, that hole, he's now filled it with some bad insulation. And what he'll do, it looks like this corner here, use a little more. Something for the, uh, for that foam to grab onto. There. There we go. You can hear the foam starting to kick in. And pass this back over to Steven. You can... Now David will start spraying foam in there. You can see that it's sticking to there. This is what will give it the air seal, moisture seal. And cover it entirely. Uh, this is a one part low expansion foam. You don't want to use the high expansion foam here because in such a confined space when that expands it could do damage to flooring, piping, whatever's in that hole. So use the low expansion foam. Uh, I'd also point out Dave's wearing goggles. He's wearing a half mask, a protective suit. Uh, good safety precaution. You got a spot right there, Dave. There you go. Okay. Uh, we're all sealed up here. We'll continue going through the crawl space, sealing the rest of these. 
If you have any questions, look us up on our website, www.energysmarthomes.biz, or give us a call at 803-656-5222. Thanks.